Hello everybody and welcome to my video. Here I'm going to talk you through how we build a brand new certificate license tracking database in Tap Forms 5. So we've got the forum open here. Uh, we see a request on the Tap Forms template exchange from Robin McClish uh, asking if anyone had a tracking professional or, and other certificates or license database. Um, they want to track important things like their passport driver's license and radio license as simple things like the uh, occupational self safety and health certificate I guess uh, CPR and first aid card doesn't need to be secure license number just identification documents uh, so I replied said that it was relatively easy to do um, we have Daniel uh, also one of the bigger people on the forum here uh, saying that tap forms actually comes with uh, sample driver's license and passports driver's license might be a good starting point uh, it has some stuff, so let's go have a look in tap forms at the sample. As you can see, I have quite a number of documents. And we're going to look at the sample form, so we'll just pull that up. And we can see uh, it already has this driver's license form. And if we look at the fields for it, we can see we have license owner, license number, class, expires, sex, date of birth, issue date, country of issue, and state or province. So that's a, that's a good start. Uh, and we can just create a record here and we can see uh, you know, this is a contact and I think that's going to go to my contact list. So we'll try that again. So you can see all of my contacts. We can select them. Uh, license number, class, expires, and whatnot. But let's just close out of that. I'm going to create our own uh, license tracker. Okie dokie. So we start again with an empty form here. And what we're going to do is we're going to set this up side by side on my Mac. I uh, use an application called Magnetics to do that. And we will drag you oh, and put that there. There we go. Okay, now we've got those two side by side. Maybe even make this one a little bit more smaller. There we go. That's 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 the way. Uh, the application that makes it happen is called Magnetics. It is indeed available on the, the Apple App Store if you wish to use it. Okay, so we want to create a, a database for tracking professional licenses. We'll create a brand new form, and we'll call it Licenses. Licenses. CS computer programmer not a thing so we'll give it a we'll start with a text field and we will call it name because we need a name for the things okay so and we'll say driver's license sweet uh, we're gonna add a photo field I'm gonna fill this in with anything because well it's going on the internet and that would be silly interesting that there we go. Close that out. So we can change the forms list here. So we don't need to have that all the way expanded. And we'll add one for, we'll do a date. We'll call that one issue date. And we'll add another one for new date field. Expiry date. Uh, do, 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 do we want to put the uh, so we have a name, we have a photo, we have issue date, we have expiry date, uh, picture of it, ability to track it is when I got it, when it will expire, uh, and a picture of it. Okay, so I think that's a that's our pretty simple database to begin with. Uh, there's not not a lot much more that we need to add to this. Uh, and we can add different entries. Now, one of the things that I talk about here is we can actually put in a thing. So let's let's do a driver's license, and we'll say that we we got it on uh, the first of the first uh, 2010, uh, and it expired on the first of the first uh, 2000 and uh, 31st of December 2019. Let's say. Uh, awkward times, right? So then we, so logically we have yet another driver's license. So we'll put a driver's license in here as well. 
we'll say the issue date for this one is 0101-2020. Expiry date is, is again, 30th of December, 31st of December, 2029. So we have 10 years, roughly. Uh, how do we link these together? There's a couple of different ways. Uh, we can actually uh, sort by this, and then we can do group by the name. Uh, and so then it's automatically grouped that into driver's licenses. Uh, and then we can put passports. Uh, do yet another passport, just so we have two for an example. Uh, passport singular. Uh, and then we'll do one more for CPR. Okay, uh, we'll see that this this thing on the left here hasn't quite updated as we've added new entries. Uh, so let's just hit hide sections and so sections, and that should bring it back out. Now we have a section for CPR, a section for driver's licenses, a section for passport, and then uh, we can use this section grouping to select the ones that we want to jump to. Uh, another way would be to use a link to form field uh, and what that would do is, and we'll just add that uh, link to form Oop. and what we're going to do is link to this form so what we can do is select our other driver's license uh, now as you can see in this list it's kind of confusing because well we don't know which one of these driver's licenses that is and that's because tap forms uses single columnless view thing and we also see on the, the right we don't have it so if we hit three on that we see the items and if there's a there's a photo there and we can in fact actually let's make the photo number one uh, it'll use the photo as a part of the thing we'll make this four because what that enables us to do is to go back into issue date and tick the show title on list view item and what that does is puts the title in the list view so now when we're looking at our list view on the left we have the name we have the issue date we have the expiry date we can actually go one step further and this is kind of weird but if we reorder our list to say put the name below and then we change our single column list view fields from four down to three uh, two, two, three. Uh, we can see that now, now the issue date and expiry date are listed uh, underneath this this group heading. Uh, we can also then see how these are linked together. Let's uh, unlink both of those, and now we can relink. So we're in the 2020 to 2029. So we want to link this one as the previous one. I don't particularly like this as an option, but it, it is what it is. Uh, let's just put three there so that we have the name there in case uh, in these examples, the issue date and expiry. Now, this is a little counterintuitive because normally you would obviously want to have uh, the name at the top, but using this grouping mechanism gives you the ability to have section headings that you use instead of uh, the name. It's kind of an interesting way of looking at the problem. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm going to put this video online, and I'm also going to put this as a reply to the thread here so that we can see what it looks like. I will change this back to be a little more traditional. So we'll put the, the name at the top, issue date, and expiry date. I'm going to take licenses out for the one that we're going to share because uh, we're going to keep it really simple as an example and go from there and hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did please like leave a comment uh, and subscribe Ho i'm hoping to make some more tap form videos as time allows see you next time mm.